and otherwise, all is good. Good. You want to ask me how I'm feeling? No. Mm. I'm feeling good, though. Good, I'm glad. A little horny, but... Well, your wife's in the other <laughs> one. <laughs>
Ah, I heard the change. two strings at once. What? He was bowing two strings at once or getting an overtone while he's bowing. Can you not do that? I... I... Incredibly difficult. So it's one thing we actually don't hear a ton in terms of these videos uh, with Indian classical music, but it obviously so fits. The there's saying? other there's other violinists in Western music that many who know classical music would you may say is higher than the name I'm about to say, but I think everybody in the world is aware of the legend of Itzhak Perlman. And if you don't know Itzhak Perlman just listen to some big movie scores. You should listen to some of his classical stuff too, but he's most most known for doing the violin piece in Schindler's List. Oh, okay, gotcha. And he is, growing up for me, it's like Yo-Yo Ma on the cello. Yeah. It's like Itzhak Perlman is the most expressive and exquisitely beautiful violinist I had ever heard in Western music. I've never heard the violin played like that. Mm. I, I've never, I've never heard the violin played like that. I kn they do some stuff with the sliding in between of the notes that just doesn't happen in yeah. Western modalities. And the thing I was pointing out, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't an overtone, I'm pretty sure he was hitting two strings, and what's weird about that is, well, first of all, it is so hard to gently touch a bow on a string and get a tone from it and not make it squeak. 
Oh, okay. So when he was doing the super delicate thing and still making yeah, it that... a pure tone without there being any kind of a squeak coming from the bow on the string at all with the microphone right on it, that capacity is, uh, the amount of hours it takes and the gifting it takes. But then, so like, a fr have you ever held a violin and felt, yeah. that? okay, so you know and you've, you've seen down at the bottom, there's the strings don't lay flat evenly like on a guitar. Yeah. They're like this. Okay, yeah. That's why when they bow it, they're doing this and this so they can get to all the strings. So granted, the two strings he was playing are close to each other, mm -hmm. but still to simultaneously hit both strings so that one is hitting the one note that's like the tonic throughout and you're moving the other one around and get them to sound like they're at the same volume and this... Ridiculous. I agree. Always enjoy these videos. Incredible. <laughs> and it never feels like anything we can say. Can no, it's like... like it's like, wow, that was nice. I, I think the first time we saw instrumentation in some way that boggled our mind, it was a Staji Zakir Hussain and, and the horse. Horse running. Yeah. Right. And it just doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. We are consistently getting vocalists or dancers or singers, I mean, or, or musicians in some capacity that elevate in ways I've never seen the art form elevated. Yeah. Astonishing. I agree. Let us know more, please. Send it. All of it. Please. Down below. Juice!